Hi everyone, welcome to the data structures in Java course on ThinkX Academy. In this video, we are going to perform insertion of inside of a linked list and I'm going to write the Java code here and I will show you how each and every line uh, performs and contributes towards the formation of the linked list data structure. And finally, I will implement the same in Eclipse IDE and we will run the program and we will see the output. Let's take a look at what you can expect at the end of this tutorial. At the end of this tutorial, you will be able to write this whole Java program. And you can see here in this program, we have this main function here and we are calling the insert function three times. So we are performing the insertion at the starting of the linked list. So you can see first insertion is done and first node is one which is inserted. In the output, you will get an output something like this. So one is inserted, then after that two will be inserted at the start, then three will be inserted at the start. So that's how we are going to perform this and let's now try to understand this whole concept and this whole uh, program line by line on the whiteboard. So let's start with the very first steps first and we will understand how uh, we are going to perform insertion. So let's suppose I have uh, some data here. So let's consider some integer values. So let's say we have very simple integer values like 1, 2, 4, 5, 7 and 8. Right, so we have these integer values and we wish to insert it inside of a linked list. Initially, the linked list will have a head pointer. I have already told you in this pre in the previous tutorial that the first node of inside of a linked list is a head pointer, and initially the head pointer is pointing to a null value. Right? So this is the initial condition of the linked list. This is something we need to write in the code. So let's see how we can write it in the code. I'm going to use the blue marker to define the class linked list. So we have a class linked list here. Now what I can do is in the main program, in the main function of this program, what I can actually do is I can actually create an object of this linked list class and then I can actually add some nodes in that class to that object. What will happen is at the end of the result, we will obtain a uh, object of this linked list class which will have this all of these nodes, right? Initially, we know that head is null. So I'm just going to write here node head. We will leave the task of assigning head to null to the constructor of this class. So I'm going to quickly create a constructor of this class. So whenever I will create an object of this class, this constructor will be called, which will simply use the head variable and it will assign it as null. Right, a very simple task. So now we have a linked list class and now I'm going to use a green marker to show you the main function and how the things are going to play out inside of this main function. So inside of the main function, I will first create an object of this linked list class. So I will write linked list and let's say it is a new linked list. So the variable is new linked list and we know how to create object by using a new operator. So new and again the name of the class, right? Okay, what is the important point here that whenever you create an object of the class, its constructor will be called and you know that once its, its constructor is called, the head will be assigned to null. So we now have this initial instance of the linked list. Now we have to move to the next important step, which is how to insert nodes inside of this linked list. So this object linked list, which is new linked list, we have to make sure that uh, it actually acts as a you can say as a reference to all the nodes that we are going to insert inside of this object, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a call to this uh, new linked list dot insert function. And to this function, I will supply some integers. So the first value is one. So I'm going to supply one here. Now this call will actually, we will have to write the insert function here that will perform the insertion inside of this linked list. Now let's move on to the second very important step, which is to define the class node. I'm going to use the red marker to define the class node. So class node is another very important class because this class is used to create objects which have these nodes. And we know that node has two important things. The first thing is data. And the second thing is the uh, next reference. And we know to define a reference, we use the name of the class and the name of it, right? And we know that we will have to create a parameterized constructor. So whenever we create an object, whenever we want to create a new node, we will supply some data to it. And then this constructor will initialize that data to this data variable, right? So to access this data, we will write this dot data. This operator is actually a reference to the object that will call this constructor. So this class node will uh, is just basically a class. When we create an object of this class, we use this operator to show the reference to that object, right? So it is a very important concept in Java. 
this will be assigned to data and remember that this data is actually this one right here and the last task is to assign the next reference which is here equals to null right so what this class essentially does is it creates a node so uh, let's say we want to create a node one so it will create a node one with data as one and a next pointer which is pointing to null right so whenever i want to insert the element inside of this linked list i first need to allocate it inside the main memory and initially the state of the node will be like this it will have data and pointing to null now what i wish i, I wish to do is i wish to insert this node inside of this linked list right so there are a bunch of ways to achieve this and there are a bunch of variations in this so the first thing is that you uh, let's say we have already have some data in this linked list let's assume that some data have been already inside uh, is inside of this linked list let's say one is there then we have two here right and let's say four five seven eight is yet to be inserted so now i have three positions where i want to insert a new node right the first position is at the starting so here i can insert an element the second position is at the end right so if i want to insert at, at the end i will have to write a different algorithm if i want to insert the element at the starting i will have to apply a different algorithm and if i want to insert in the middle of or in the between of two elements then i will have to write a different algorithm the concepts will be the same in all the algorithms which is the first one is insertion at start the second one is insertion in the middle of two positions and the last one is insertion at the end of the linked list. These are three variations and these three will have different concept. In this tutorial, we are going to cover the first one, which is inserting the, uh, this node at the starting of the linked list, right? So let's assume that we already have an element. Uh, we don't have any elements here, right? So let, let me just remove all of this and let's again come back to our initial problem that we have only one head pointer which is actually pointing to null and now we want to insert this element one to here right now what uh, what is the way you are going to perform all right so now let's move on to the insert function inside of this one and let's see what is the algorithm and this is a very important function so we want to insert this element at the starting how are we going to do that first step is to allocate the node how are we going to allocate the node by creating an object of this a node class and I will supply the data to it and we already know that uh, this insert function is taking a parameter uh, data so I'm going to write in data so at the time of function call the data was already supplied to this insert function so it will come here so node data right so once we create an object of this class this line here will actually call its constructor so this constructor will be called and the data will become one because first call will actually insert one inside of the linked list and the next pointer will be null right so now we have done this step the last step is to actually attach this node to this linked list right how are we going to do that now if you observe here i just want to change the position of head to this node right so what i want is i want to actually make sure that head is not pointing to null anymore head should point to this node right which is here so this is actually our new node so i'm going to write here that this is our new node right and the only task i need to achieve is if I want to insert it here, I just need to reassign the head pointer to point to this new node, right? If I can do that, I will obtain the required linked list, right? How are we going to do that? It's simple. We have already defined the head uh, reference here. Initially, it was pointing to null. Now, I will again use this dot head, right? Now, what is, uh, you can see that this operator is here. The question for you is, this is a reference to which object, right? The answer to that is that in the main function, we have defined a new linked list. And this dot head means the head of the linked list object that we created in the main function. So this operator, I will just write with the green marker here, is actually pointing to the new linked list, right? So this dot head needs to be assigned to this new node. So I can do that very simply by writing this dot head equals to new node, right? So new node has been already assigned here that you can easily see that that new node has been allocated here. These two lines can also be converted into a single line, right? Right. Instead of creating one more variable, I can simply write here new node and I will provide the data. Right. So now what I've done is I've merged those two lines. Now the question is now the linked list has this. Right. So now let's update the linked list. Now the linked list is updated. So what is the linked list? The linked list is new LL, which is here. So now it has a head pointer. There is a variable. Uh, there is a data one and there is it is pointing to null. Right. 
Now I want to insert two here. Right, so I want to insert the next element to be inserted as two. And in this tutorial, since we are concentrating on inserting at the start, we need we need to understand that we need to insert two at this position, right? So after insertion, how will the linked list look like? First, we have the head pointer, right? And I want to insert two here. So two will come here and then one will come here and then I will have null. So the first step is uh, will remain the same in all insertion cases. The first step remains the same. Whichever element you want to insert, you will have to first allocate it. And we know that uh, to allocate, we just need to create a object of the node class. So I can just write new node data and this object will be allocated, which is two here. Two will get allocated in the memory. The only task I need to do is insert this node two, right? So this is the node two and it will be pointing to null. So what I want to do is I want to insert two here, right? At the starting. In order to insert two here, the first step that I will do is, which I will write here one, the first step is to actually make sure that this two is not pointing to null. It is now pointing to head position, right? And we know that head is pointing to the first node of the link list and we want to uh, insert at the start. So what I'm going to do is this new node, right? So I'm just going to write that this object new node is going to point to this dot head. Now at this position, this dot head will always give the first element of the link list. It is an important concept. So this dot head gives the first element inside of the link list. The first element is one here that you can see. Now the new node will be pointing to this first node. So head is not pointing here. The new node is also pointing here, right? So head is also pointing to the first node and this second node is also pointing here. So what will be the link list look like? Head is pointing here. And we are saying that, you know what, the new node that we want to uh, assign here will also point to the same position as head, right? So head was also pointing to this and two is also now pointing to this position, right? So this is the first step. What is the second step? Obviously, we want to reassign head, right? Because now the first element is not this. The first element is changed to this, right? So how we can we how can we do that? We need to assign head to this one. So it's simple that I say that this dot head, right? So this dot head will have to point to this new node. So I will write here new node. So you can see that I've changed, I've made these two important steps and these are basically uh, object referencing. We are actually referencing the objects. Uh, first, we uh, reference the object that we want to allocate at the same position where the head was pointing to, right? The second step is to reassign this to the new node. So now let's move on to the Eclipse ID and implement this program. So here you can see that I've already created a class node which has data and next pointer. And here you can see there is a constructor as I've drawn on whiteboard. This is the same uh, class node here. And we have another class link list here, which has a reference to the node. And initially the constructor will initialize the head as null. And now we will have to write these two functions, which is display and insert function. And uh, insert function we have already discussed. Now let's write this also. So here you can see I have this public class thinkx, which is the name of my file. And we have a main function here. And inside this main function, we have created the object and we are calling insert function three times. So when we will call this insert function three times, the first time one will get inserted, then two will get inserted at the start, then three will be get insert, inserted at the start. And finally, we will display all the contents of the link list. And we know that the whole link list has, uh, is actually displayed under this object new LL, right? So let's start with the first things first, which is uh, in the insertion part, we know that first step will remain same. We will have to allocate the new node. So I'm going to create a new node by using new operator. And to this, we are going to supply the data. All right. So now what we are going to do is we know that when the link list is empty. So uh, how can we check that? We can check that by using the head pointer. So if the head pointer is equals to equals to null, it means that the link list is empty. So here I'm going to write a comment here that linked list is empty. Right. So if that is the case, we already know that we just need to reassign the head pointer to the new node. All right. Now the next part, which is the else part, right? So since we are performing insertion at start, I'm going to rename this function as insert start. And here also I'm going to make the changes. This will be insert start. Right. So now uh, we want to perform insertion at start and we have already seen on the whiteboard. What are the two steps? 
the first step is to actually assign the uh, new node to the pointer which is the head pointer so in the on the whiteboard i wrote this line new node equals to this dot head now you can see here uh, there is a mistake in this one if we assign new node equals to this this is not correct because we want to assign the next pointer of new node right so it should be new node dot next so there was a mistake and if you have already pointed out that in the video uh, it's really good that you have understood the logic also so the logic is same uh, we are actually assigning the next reference of the node because every node has a next reference and we will assign it to the same position where the head was positioned so we know that head always points to the first node right since head always points to the first node the next reference of the new node will also point there and we know that the last step is very simple we will point the head reference to the new node right at this point we are not going to write new node dot next because we are actually assigning the head to the directly to the node right so that's how we are going to perform this insertion now let's move on to the display function which is also traversal so we know that we want to traverse from the first node to the last node and we know that we can access the first node using the head pointer so we will start with the head pointer and we will create a while loop that goes from the head pointer and uh, we keep reassigning the head to uh, the next references and we will uh, that, that's how we can actually traverse in a linked list but remember that reassigning head will change the nature of the linked list because head always points to the first node and it's the rule so what i'm going to do is i'm going to create a temporary variable and this variable is actually going to point to the this dot head right and now what i'm going to do is i'm going to write that until and unless this temp value becomes equal to null so we know that uh, when this pointer reference will start from the head position then it will keep going on uh, so i will keep assigning temp equals to temp dot next right so temp dot next will be actually uh, will actually point to the next node and it will keep doing that until and unless this temp reference has become null and we know that the last element has the reference as null and that's how we can actually do the traversal and each time we are traversing we are going to display the data of the uh, node so i'm going to write this out and instead of print ln i'm going to just write print because i don't want new lines here and here i'm going to just write temp.data so every time we are uh, moving from the first node which is the head node so temp starts with the head node which is the first node it goes in this while loop it checks whether it is null so if it is not null it will just print its data and after this data just i'm going to write uh, this symbol which will actually help us understand the uh, visualize the linked list structure and then it will move on then temp will be assigned to temp.next so temp.next will be actually the second node and temp is now going to point to second node right again it will check whether it's null it's not null so it will keep doing that it will keep hopping from the one node to the next node using this assignment so this is basically hopping to the next node right and we are actually checking here until and unless linked list is empty right so let's run this program and you can see the output here you can see the linked list obtained is this one so one is inserted then two is inserted then three is inserted so that's all for this tutorial in the next tutorial we will uh, write an insert end function which will add more numbers to this linked list but at the end position which is here right so we will uh, see that in the next tutorial thanks for watching